Hey, I'm Ben Gill with Oxenfree Film and Motion, and today I'll be showing you how we plan and structure our brand stories using the Story Clock Notebook. So our goal with our brand stories is to create one video that encapsulates everything a brand is about, demystifying who they are and what they do. And part of that process is a discovery meeting in which we ask brands a ton of questions to try to distill down that founder's story, their mantras, and how their product transforms the lives of their customers. And then we take all of that information and come up with a story structure using the Story Clock Notebook and the hero's journey to be our guide through production so that we know everything we're doing speaks to larger universal themes and truths. Um, so I'm gonna be showing you an example from our food supply brand story that we did last fall. So this is the Story Clock Notebook and it's made by a company called Plot Devices. Within it, there's all these pages filled with these circles, right? Let me show you a blank page real quick. Here's a blank page. So you'll see on this side, there's the clock. This is the start of the film, a quarter of the way, halfway, three quarters, end. Okay, so you'll see on this side, you can kind of put all your ideas down that you wanna put on the clock and your characters and your themes. So this is a great place for brand stories for us to put things that the client wanted to include, things that the brand definitely want in their video. This would be a good place to put those. And who is the voice of the video? That's a huge thing that you need to figure out. And maybe you have a few ideas of who you could speak to. And this is where you'd put those characters that you have ideas for. And then themes. I think this is the most important thing because that, that helps you motivate what these scenes are about and the way that you're shooting these scenes. So if you just like put down some of the mantras or the mission statement of the brand, that'll help be your guiding light as you go through production. So I'm gonna show you an example from our food supply brand story. It might be a little difficult to read, but I'll walk you through it so you can see where we were at when we were designing this. And so the basic idea with the story clock is that you have this circle, right? And you're mapping out your story on each tick of the clock. Basically, this is just another way of seeing your story, right? This is not the right or wrong way to do it. But what I really liked about this when I, when I discovered this notebook is it gives you opportunities to pay things off on different parts of the film. So you can have something happen at the start of the film and then pay it off at the halfway point of the film or at the quarter mark. You can have these speak to each other. So you see I have like these little tick marks on the eighths where I paid something off and had this relationship between parts of the story. So food supply is a food supplier and they provide the raw food ingredients for restaurants and all sorts of businesses. So I wanted to follow their ingredient from when it first arrives at the warehouse all the way to it being a cooked meal in front of a customer at a restaurant. So if we know that we wanna meet the ingredients here and have it be finished here, that kind of helps us map the rest of the journey on the clock. So at the quarter mark, I have it being unpacked at the restaurant. At the halfway mark, I have it being the food being added to heat. And then at the three quarter mark, I have food being plated. And then at the end, I have the finished dishes being slid in front of the customer. So Food Supply partners with restaurants to help them support their customers. So I wanted to focus not just on Food Supply, but mainly on the customers they serve and the customers who rely on their product to survive. So I wanted to focus on restaurateurs with a dream of starting a restaurant, and then in comes food supply. And the characters, they wanted to feature a lot of their employees, which was definitely a challenge when coming up with this structure, but their employees stick around for a long time, and that's something they really wanted to feature. So you'll see there's a ton of characters here, but the big ones that I wanted to follow was this restaurateurs journey. And some of the themes that I got from the discovery meeting and just from talking to them, menu peace of mind, working together with mutually shared goals, partnership, accountability, reliability, partnership leads to mutual success. So that's like a classic theme structure. Something leads to something. Overall, you want to show a transformation. Hero's Journey is all about this transformation. So whether you want to do refusal of the call and um, threshold guardians and all that, you don't, that's not necessarily the case. But I think the biggest thing you need is this transformation and how the old world, which is before they came into contact with the business that we're focusing on the brand story, 
and the gap in their lives that was filled by our brand and how through working with this brand, it changed their old world into this new world, right? So in the story clock in the very front, you'll see that they have the general story structure as it relates to a clock. So you'll see that act one is almost like the first quarter. Then act two is almost like a whole half after that. And then the act three is the final quarter. So this mark is when the inciting incident happens, when they finally meet the brand and say, let's do it, right? And then the big thing that I always have a gap in my clock that I need to fill in is usually in this area where it's when the hero feels that all is lost, when like they're at rock bottom and they need to push through to succeed, right? So this is usually where I'll have like two or three ticks still to fill in. And that's really fun to come up with a way to film something very dramatically and to like really tap into that conflict that um, businesses struggle with. And then they push through and succeed and all their dreams are realized and and boom, we're done. And so this is our one for food supply. Um, you can see here's our one for snap. Uh, we got a little crazy, really hard to read if you're not insane like me. And then this is uh, In Bloom Florist's brand story. So it's just like another way of visualizing your story. Anything that helps you create a story with intentionality, you can say, we need to shoot this scene like this because of this story reason. It helps the film feel more fleshed out and less random. You know, you didn't just show up to the warehouse and filmed a lot of people moving boxes in slow motion. You knew exactly what you needed to show story-wise. So you get to be creative when you're there. How can we illustrate that story concept with what you guys actually do. So we're not like manufacturing this scene out of thin air. It's based on what they do. So we want to lean into that and just give some parameters, some structure that helps it feel very motivated because of our planning here with this clock. So that's kind of like an example of how we use the story clock. And maybe in another video, we'll go more in depth on exactly what's on each of these ticks but it's too much for just this video. But you can see like, I, I really love using this and it kind of looks like the ravings of a madman when you um, show this to a client in the next meeting. But um, I think they appreciate the level that you've thought about how you're gonna shoot their video and execute it. It really is reflected in the end product that we have this motivation from the get go and this structure for everything that we're doing. So that even if we need to pivot on set, we know what it needs to satisfy on the clock. So thanks so much for watching and we'll see you soon.